everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today we are going to be filming part one of Red for my monochromatic series. So this video is actually gonna be in two parts. One is going to be more classic, and then the next one we're gonna expand upon it and maybe take it a slightly different route. So if you wanna see both parts to uh, this look, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you can see when that next video comes out. Also, I already started this monochromatic series over on my Instagram. I decided to just do um, an IGTV, IGTV video for gray and for pink instead of doing the full length YouTube video. So if you would like to see monochromatic gray and pink, go ahead and hop on down to my Instagram. Link is in the description box below and check this out. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so for this look, we're gonna be doing glitter eyeliner. So we're gonna start with the eyes so that the glitter doesn't fall out all over our foundation. So we're gonna start with, this is the NYX Cosmetics um, eyeshadow base in their white color. And I'm just gonna dab this onto my eyelids to give myself an even base to work with. I don't have my setting powder in here. Next, I'm going to be taking loose setting powder. Um, this is the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder, and I am just going to dab that all over the eyelids to set the eye base. Now, I'm going to be taking my Dose of Colors Desi X Katie palette and going in to this reddish brown shade in my crease. I'm taking just a little bit of that on a fluffy br blending brush starting gently in my crease and just fluffing that out. I'm going to be concentrating this on my outer crease and blending it up towards the brow to create more of an elongated look. Next, I'm going to take this red shade from my BH Cosmetics palette and I'm gonna concentrate this a little bit lower right in the crease to um, really beef up that red tone. I laid the brown down first, the reddish brown down first, because sometimes without that, this color, this red tone in the BH Cosmetics palette, or really any red eyeshadow, can kind of translate as pink, more so than true red. So I wanted to put that brown down first to accentuate the reddishness and not let it buff out into pink. Lastly, on a denser brush, I'm going to take the shade, let's do Sangria from my Ace Beauty um, Scarlet Dusk Palette. This is just like a burgundy shade. I'm gonna tap a little bit of that into my outer corner. This is just gonna finish deepening up. Deepening up the eyeshadow. Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna take a clean blending brush. I'm just gonna go over the edges of that and make sure that there are no like uneven patches. Again, there's nothing on this brush. I'm just smoothing things out. One more step. I'm gonna take a clean packing brush and go into this neutral shade right here and just pack that onto the lid. This is back to the Desi X Katie palette, by the way. It's a little dark, so I'm also gonna take this bright shade. Okay, so now we're gonna start on the glitter liner part of this look. Listen, this is easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> so the first step is that we're gonna draw the wing. Um, I'm gonna draw it in red liner, but I feel like it's not a disaster if you use whatever color you want because we're gonna go over it um, with glitter glue and then the glitter liner, or well, the glitter that will create our liner. So just for like, ease and to make sure that if anything, if any of this liner still shows it'll be red, I'm going to use this ColourPop um, red liner, but again, like, it's probably fine if you don't. I will say this liner did not last very long. I mean, it was cheap, but also like, is that worth it, you know? If it was cheap, but it doesn't last. I don't know, ColourPop, you tell me if that's worth it. Also, I didn't eat anything. Some like jittering. Uh -huh. 
Eat your fruits and veggies at regular meal times, kids. You won't regret it. Okay, that's one wing. Is it perfect? Do I like it? No. But it's what I could do with this dry as frick liner, so. Okay, other side. Okay, next part sounds intimidating, but I promise it's a lot easier than you think. So we're gonna be coating um, this line that we just laid down in glitter glue, and then going over that with the actual glitter. I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit of my NYX glitter glue onto the back of my hand, and start laying this down. This angled liner brush is from BH Cosmetics, by the way. I got it in a set of like 20 brushes or something for super cheap, which, Love that. Okay, and now I'm going to take, where did it go? Okay, now I'm gonna take this dense, um, I don't know, I guess smudger brush, and I just found that this picked up the glitter pretty well. Okay, so we're gonna use this glitter today. You gotta be so careful opening that up, holy moly. It gets everywhere. It's gonna be all over my studio space. Taking a makeup wipe, I'm going to wipe off as much of the excess as I can. I do not like tugging on my skin like this, but with this glitter, kinda gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. <laughs> I think what went wrong on this side is that I didn't use enough glitter glue initially, and I almost wonder if I wasn't precise enough, like I didn't keep it close enough to my lash line on uh, the inner part of my eyeliner. So, let's see if we can do that a little better this time. I'm in the business of full disclosure, y'all. I'm not gonna act like I do this stuff perfectly because every time I try something new, I'm like teaching myself, which is probably exactly what you're doing. So, okay, here's my glitter glue. I'm gonna take that angled liner brush again and use a little bit of a heavier hand with the amount of glue and also try to keep it closer to my lash line. Okay, let's see how this goes. Ooh, wrong brush. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Oh yeah, let me talk about these glitters. Okay. So as you can see, there's like a lot of glitter in this pot unless you're trying to do something like a huge project, but I mean, just for like my eyes or face, I would consider this to be a lot of loose glitter. Um, these are from bulkglitters.com. I had never heard of them, but what I think is super cool about these is that they're cosmetic grade and biodegradable. So like, come on, saving the planet, not putting microplastics into our oceans. Um, yeah, also, this thing was like three bucks. <laughs> three bucks for biodegradable cosmetic grade glitter. And also shipping wasn't that much either. It was only like $5. Dude, I got like probably, I don't know. What does the math break down to? I don't know. I got a lot of glitters for $24. So bulkglitters.com. Don't you dare ever buy another BH Cosmetics or Anastasia Beverly Hills glitter again. Don't do it. Okay, but y'all, I am rest with myself right now because I just remembered something I did the first time that I didn't do this time that would have made this so much easier. Also, side note, this is why I don't practice. When I practice, I freaking... <laughs> when I practice, I feel like I nail it the first time and then the second time it's like... It's like I've never done it before. Anyway, so I'm gonna do my foundation now. This is the L'Oreal Fresh Ray Foundation in shade 445. I, y'all, oh, I'm obsessed with this foundation. I say this in literally every single video, but it's the best one I've ever used. Like, drugstore, high-end, whatever, I don't care. I, like, don't know if I'll ever find a foundation that I like for my skin more than this one, or at least, like, that's how I've felt for the past, like, three years, so. I'm gonna lay this down and then as soon as I'm done laying this down, I'm gonna put like so much setting powder under my eyes so that I can get rid of the tackiness as quickly as possible. Um, Cause I do not 
want to deal with glitter fallout in my foundation and concealer today. No, ma'am. Oh wait, that's right. I'm gonna do under eye concealer as well. So, what I said wasn't entirely accurate. Oh, uh, this is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 18. I started with Light 16 and decided that was too bright for me. Um, so I went up a shade. But guess what? That means that I purchased this concealer twice because it's actually really solid. I like it a lot. Y'all used to make these videos with like all this energy and like that's still the real me but like now I just don't have the emotional energy for that sometimes like that scared me. I just like nah. I've honestly started doing my makeup more for like emotional purposes I guess I would say. Like, at first it was because I love it, and like, I still do, um, but it's, well, I definitely still do, but I love it in the sense that, like, it's taken on more of, like, a therapy vibe for me, instead of, like, oh, this is, like, something to do for fun, like, as a hobby. Like, I mean, it is still that, but it has more of a therapy vibe, and I'm, like, I don't know, today, oh my gosh, I was just so stressed out. I was literally so stressed out, and... It just so happened that today, like, I needed to film. And that just ended up being a really good thing because it forced me to be like, okay, let's do this. Like, when I'm like feeling anxious that it's good for me to do my makeup. So it was just a good, like, come on, no excuses kind of thing. So I'm gonna take my setting powder again and I'm gonna use literally so much. Um, I'm just gonna coat my under eyes. I'm gonna coat my under eyes to start with, but I think also I'm just gonna put like a really light layer on the rest of my face, but I'm gonna have no chill with my under eyes. I don't recommend using this much setting powder typically because I just don't like the like slightly cakey look that you can get when you use too much setting powder and like the powdery look. But since um, I really don't need glitter getting trapped in my makeup, that's the move today. I just scratched a pimple. That hurt. Okay. Okay. I have to turn my AC off to film. What in the world happened to my chapstick? Anyway, I have to turn my AC off to film because, like, it makes a lot of white noise. And I already have a white noise problem enough with my videos. Uh -huh. But, like, it just gets so hot in here, let me tell you. Okay, now that I've taken literally all of the humanity out of my face between the generous amount of foundation and concealer and setting powder, we're gonna warm it back up. We're gonna put some life back into it. Let me zoom you guys out. You don't need, oh, you don't need that um, close of a view of my face anymore. So we're gonna warm ourselves back up with bronzer. <coughs> oh, goodness. Is anyone else like embarrassed to sneeze anymore because of, I just like, it's like I don't have it, I swear, but also I'm like the sneeziest person I know. Like, I don't, literally don't know anyone who sneezes more than me. And like, I know that I'm not present for everyone's sneezes, but I just, I just am really suspicious. So now I'm taking this blush from, this is also Ace Beauty, it's called Blushed in Paradise. I'm taking the dark shade and we're just like gonna go to town. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend this out. Okay, I promise I'll blend this out. I'm also gonna take the lightest shade, just pop that onto my cheeks a little. Okay, now I'll take care of these ragtag brows. So first I'm just gonna brush them out. And then I'm going to grab my, oh, there's a hair in my eyelashes. Sorry, okay, so now I'm gonna grab my Chella Beauty um, Brow something. Tantalizing Taupe Brow Cream. Um, I actually really, really like this stuff. It just, I don't know, it's like the perfect color for my eyebrows. 
Okay, that's a little thicker than I usually make them, but like it's cool. We can have Instagram brows today, <laughs> like whatever. Oh, how is my camera almost dying? No! This is because I've been taking my time. Taking my time and talking too much. Cool. Um, oh wait, you know what? Before we do mascara, let me throw on some bottom thing. But lower lash line eyeshadow. Cool. Back into the Ace Beauty palette. I'm just gonna take this like smudging brush we used earlier and take Sangria again, that darker shade we use, and just run it along my lower lash line. Just a little smudge of red eyeshadow. Y'all are gonna get so tired of this like singing thing. I just I can't help it. I just I guess at this life at this point in my life now I have no shame. It's cool. I went through my self-conscious middle school stage already. I paid my nickel. I can do whatever I want now. I feel like I'm old. Okay, mascara. This is the Essence uh, Big Lashes Mascara. What's cool about this one is that it was like $4 and I really like it. So, let's just coat our lashes real quick. I'm also getting those lower lashes. Can we just take a second, like a moment of silence for my natural lashes? I've been using um, the Rodin and Fields Lash Booster and it works really well and I'm not allergic to it. So yeah, look, just, just one more. Like, dang, it really works. Okay, uh, false lashes, let me grab some. Okay, lashes are on. That took me way longer than I care to admit. So I won't admit it. Um, and now we're gonna move on to lips. So I need to not forget to cap my lash glue. Okay, so for lips today, I'm gonna be using a combination of the Ofra uh, Matte Liquid Lips Lipstick in Havana Nights. This is like a dark burgundy red. And then I'm also going to be using the Jolie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick. And what shade is this? In Amore. So I'm gonna be using this on the outside and this on the inside to create a little ombre. I definitely thought this was gonna come across as more um, red than purple. Honestly, it's got kind of a purple tint. Let me see what I have over here. Let's hit it with a little bit of this Stila um, burnt orangey red and see if they combine into more of like a red. Okay, yes, those two together definitely gave me more of the burgundy I was looking for. Also, this is the, the Stila Liquid Lipstick in, in shade Forza. Now I'm going to top that with a more. All right, guys, well, um, I just finished the makeup part. Okay, wow, that's so exciting. So I'm gonna go put on my red wig and we'll see how that goes because it's a cheap one from Amazon, so. <laughs> and um, I'll be right back. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right guys, and this is the finished look. I have to, ooh, I have to say, this is my first time ever having to like cut and trim a wig, and um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Oh my goodness, it's shedding so much though. Um, yeah, it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. I just had to like add some to the bangs on the side because the wig was so like, I don't know, there just wasn't enough width on the bangs. Um, and I trim them up a little bit, but like not too much because I was just scared, you know, you can always take off more, but you can't put more wig back on. Anyway, this is the final product for Red Part 1. Please stay tuned for Red Part 2. Um, I'm really excited to kind of dirty this up a little bit, but let's tickle my teeth, that's cute. Yeah, I'm excited to play with this. I think it's gonna turn out really fun. So um, subscribe to my channel if you like this video, um, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below if you have something to say. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.